if I have any advice for young animators, um, I can't just boil it down into a single sound bite. Let's put it that way. I mean, one of the first would be observe and caricature. Look at everything. Look at everybody and see what it is that makes them tick. You know, Al Hirschfeld used to say, you can tell who your friend is even if he's, you know, five blocks away and he's walking away from you you know, with a back view. But you still know it's your friend from the way he moves, from the way he carries his body. And I think that's a very salient point. Everybody is unique. Everybody has different walks. Everybody has different ways of carrying themselves and expressing themselves. You know, go and observe people in a coffee shop, do sketches, go to the zoo, draw animals, because the nice thing is they won't hold still for you. So you really have to get it down, you know, quickly. Um, and the other thing, just in terms of the broader picture, is don't give up. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't. I've spent most of my career with a lot of people saying, oh, you can't do that. And my internal response is, oh, yeah? <laughs> and I always like to be able to do things, A, that I have never done before, and B, that people tell me are impossible. Uh, and there's no reason that anybody else can't as well, you know? Um, our medium is full of people whose parents were not as encouraging, say, as my parents were, who say, you don't, you don't want to be an artist, you don't want to, you don't want to do that, you'll, you'll starve, you know? And uh, that's not encouraging or good advice, you know? If you really work hard enough, you know, and you're inspired enough, you'll find your place, you know, even in lousy job markets. One of the nice things that's great about the animation medium right now, as, it, as it's reflected in your title, is it's international. You know, there are people who could go to Ireland, they could go to Italy, they could go to Japan, they could, you know, there is animation being done in practically every corner of the globe. The penguins are probably doing it in Antarctica, you know, and there are opportunities now that would have been unthinkable 60, 70 years ago and now are, you know, not only available but also available digitally. You know, you can animate a scene in Toronto for a studio in Hong Kong <laughs> and they can download the digital file and you're great. You know, it, it's, it's amazing these days what can be accomplished. And Marv Newland made a really good point at our Shorts talk yesterday as well, which is that the technology now allows everybody to be able to make their own films much more easily. You can make a film in your, ho in your house, you know, with the equipment and the, the digital technology that's available. You can animate it, you can, you can paint it, you can composite it, you can do anything that you want you know, without having to hire battalions of people, you know. Sure, it's great to collaborate with people, and animation is usually best when it is collaborative, but there's nothing stopping you like, oh, I have to shoot this on 35 millimeter film with these hot lights on a down shooting rostrum camera or any of that kind of stuff anymore. So it's so much easier for young people to get into the medium and, and show what they got.